Rod and reel or fly rod, whatever your choice, you live in the right state for fabulous fishing. Tonight, MTN's Augusta McDonald takes us to western Montana to show us the Clarks Fork River and why it's so special. The main thing about the Clark is uh, learning the river. These fish really pot up and there's places you need to just fish the heck out of, and there's places that you need to roll right through. Rainbows, browns, and bull trout make for great fishing, and Joe is willing to share his favorite spots with anyone who wants to give them a try. I get them from Florida, uh, New York, uh, Virginia, Texas, uh, Washington, uh, just everywhere. And we're pretty small potatoes here, so we really depend on return, you know. He says as long as you can get the fly out first, your level of expertise doesn't matter to the fish. You can be uh, an expert fly fisherman or you can be a beginner. And the most important thing in fly fishing is to get that bug floating first. If you get the bug floating down the creek without your, your fly line or your leader or your tippet in front of it, that's 90% of the battle. The fish look up, all he sees is that fly he's going to eat. The Cantrell family have built their life and family-run business in St. Regis. This lodge by the river hosts weddings and reunions, and they own a restaurant and a fly shop as well. Joe offers his skill and the tranquility of their river-centered life to hundreds of guests who come their way every summer. In St. Regis, Augusta McDonald, MTN News. And Augusta says you've got a few years to get to St. Regis, Montana and let Joe take you fishing. Joe is 78 right now and he says he's thinking about retiring around the age of 92.